Hello and good afternoon. This video is for Set M2, um, GP's class and Adeline's class. Um, <clears throat> having a hard time getting on the website, so I've decided to make these videos um, explaining what you could, what you can and should do for this week, this week in English. So uh, I've got, I have our book here, All About Us, class book activity book. Last week we began looking at unit 4 and in unit 4 we started looking at um, the names for different jobs, occupations, and we also started looking at regular um, past tense verbs, verbs that end in ed talking about the past. Um, so we, we finished pages 38 and 39 in the class book and in the activity book. We also did this. If you haven't finished, if you haven't finished these pages, now's a good time because I'm sure you're looking for things to do. So, uh, good idea to get these done. When you finish pages 38 and 39 in the activity book, <clears throat> then we can do pages 40 and 41 for this week. What we're doing this week is um, the format's the same as the other, the past three units, right? Um, on page 40, you have a chat conversation that you can read. And here in this box, you have some vocabulary words that you find in the chat conversation and in the bio biography of these four artists in the Styles for Art text. <clears throat> um, read this and after you finish page looking at page 40 then you're gonna go to the activity book and in the activity book the first exercise here is uh, you've got a word scramble so you've got one two three four five six you have six words that you have to put the letters in order to make words that go with the text looking at this um, the words are an adjective, one verb, and different occupations. And the words here are from the previous two pages. So if you're having a hard time understanding what words these are, then go back and look at the look at the, the class book. Look at this look at these here and go to the page thirty eight so you can see the different jobs that were mentioned. Okay. Um then here, here's something kind of interesting for you to do. What you have to do here is you have to find information about a famous, it says, bridge or building in your country or region. Um, en esta actividad lo que tiene que hacer es um, coger unos datos sobre un puente, un edificio importante yeah, in here in the Canaries or in mainland Spain. Um, so you're gonna, you've got four things to look for. You've got um, five, excuse me. You've got the name of the bridge or building. You've got the year it was constructed, who the engineer was, the nationality of the engineer, and what they're famous for. Then, with this information, in exercise three, you take this and you you put it in these gaps to make a text, right? So here it's just the words, and then here we're making sentences. We're completing sentences about whatever um, whatever building or bridge that you talked about or the information you've looked for. Okay. After you finish that, go back to the class book and you've got here uh, uh, four biographies of different artists. Um, 
styles of art. Artists use different styles when they draw and paint. Um, so you're going to read this, yeah, and you've got some questions at the bottom. You could do this in your your English um, journals, the little books that you that I gave you. You've got six questions here. You could do this in your notebooks. After you read this, um, go back to the activity book, okay? Page forty-one, and with the inf with this information, you're going to fill in the gaps. So the first exercise is reading the descriptions of different art styles, and you've got to write the names in there about them. Then in exercise two, you're looking at these three different types of art. And you've got to write the name of the style of art that it's 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 um, done in. And then last exercise three. This is an opportunity for you to talk about um, a piece of art that you like. It says my favorite painting is the painting style, who the artist is, and why you like it. Um, I'm actually thinking about making another video where I'll put the answers to all these questions that you're supposed to do. Um, and then last here, exercise four, this is an art activity for you to make a cubist portrait. Um, cubism is one of the styles that's mentioned in the book. So here it says that you Looks like this looks like a collage. You need a magazine, scissors, glue, a pen, and a piece of paper. So here's an, an art activity for you to do based on cubism. So um, stay tuned for the second video, which will go over the answers and everything that you've done in these two pages. Okay, great. See you later. Bye.